It's so complex. What? We're gonna go and we're gonna take a complex number, a plus bi in its general form, and we're gonna go and we're gonna multiply it by its complement, z bar. Z complement is equal to a minus bi. It's the opposite signs in between the complement. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I'm getting fat. That is not the complement! No! What do we want to do? We want to go around and multiply z times z bar. So then we see if we put z a plus b i and we multiply it by its complement z bar a minus b i i i i. What are we going to do? We're going to first enter out at last. See if we can get a nice form for that product. So then I first, boom, that's a squared, then I outer, that's minus a b i, and then that's inner plus a b, and then finally at last, that's minus b squared i squared. But before we evaluate it to minus one, we see there's some cancellation. Uh, oh! If I took a plus bi and subtract off a minus bi, I'd have no a minus bi. So I am left with a squared minus b squared times i squared evaluates to minus one. It's real. So I multiply b by a minus one. Fun. Finish him. Minus and minus make moss and we get the elusive sum of squares. Your teachers have been telling you that that hasn't been real forever. Hmm, no. But how did we realize we multiplied by the complement? <laughs> You really think I'm getting fat? We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.